What's up and welcome to our channel Gift Makumbi BA today. We're going to talk about how to sell on Amazon for beginners using FBA. A step by step guide on Amazon but don't but don't know where to start. I've been there. I had a few old video games that I wanted to get rid of and I thought Amazon was the perfect place to sell them. To help others who want to sell on Amazon, I have documented step by step the process I took to sell my first items through Amazon FBA. In sticking to simplicity, I'm calling this guide how to sell on Amazon for beginners using FBA's step-by-step -step guide. While this guide is tailored to selling using FBA, you can sell and ship the items yourself. However, I found the convenience factor of FBA too great to over overlook. What is Amazon FBA and why should I use it? Amazon is famous for their free two-day shipping through Amazon Prime. It's one of the main reasons people shop on the marketplace. Free two-day shipping is now the standard for all online sellers. Wouldn't it be great if you would offer free two-day shipping on the same items you sell? Good news, you can. That's the reason you use Amazon FBA. With Amazon FBA, you simply ship your items to an Amazon warehouse and they take care of the rest for you. So, if you ship them one box with 25 items you want to sell, Amazon will pick the pack and ship it and ship each of those items for you as they are sold. For many, Amazon FBA is a smart and cost-effective way to shipping your items. While you pay a fee for this service, you are providing customers industry-leading logistics to ensure their package arrives on time. How to sell on Amazon for beginners using FBA Fulfillment by Amazon In this guide, I'll take you through the process of selling on Amazon. Not only that, I'm going to show you how I took these same exact steps to selling my first few items using fulfillment by Amazon. Step 1. How to create an, uh, an Amazon seller account. First, you need to create an Amazon seller account. If you don't already have one, you can create one on this page. By, be sure to read the before you register section on the web page. It provides you info about the two types of Amazon seller accounts, professional and individual don't know which account type to use the answer is simple if you are going to sell more than 40 items a month use a professional account otherwise select an individual account why is 40 items the cutoff point amazon will charge you 0.99 per item when selling on an individual account so if you're going to sell 40 items a month you might as well pay for the 40 dollar a month professional account in my case, I was only selling a few items, so I chose an individual account. Once you choose your account type, you will be asked to log in or create an Amazon account using your preferred email. For, from then, you will need to provide number one, business name, address number two, agree to seller agreement number three, mobile or telephone number number four, billing method, deposit chargeable credit card for professional account number five tax information if signing up for professional account for your seller information you need to provide your name and address as well as display name this will be the name buyers see next to the item you're selling it can be anything you want but remember it's public i chose bilbo bagging 50s because I was selling some old Lord of the Rings video games. Next, you must verify your identity through a phone call or text message. Lastly, enter your credit card and bank account information for deposits. You will need access to your nine digit routing and bank account number. Your account is now created. Now, you should be greeted with the home screen that looks fairly empty. Number two, 
how to list your items on Amazon. Once you have your account, you'll need to list the items you want to sell. For some people, we may be skipping a crucial step, choosing what items to sell. However, for this tutorial, I'm going to use to assume you've already done this. If you don't know what to sell first, simply find some items around your house you want to get rid of. That's what I did. To add your first product, you want to go to inventory. In the top of your screen, click add a product. Once you click add a product, you will be prompted to search for your product. I searched by barcode. However, you can also search by the product name. Unless you are selling an item you manufactured, which I am assuming you are not, you shouldn't need to create a new product. Once you select your product, you will be taken to a screen to enter important product information. There are many, there are three main things you must enter. Number one, the price you want to sell for your item. Number two, what condition your item is in. Number three, whether you want Amazon to ship the item for you or you want to ship it yourself. You can also check out Amazon product listing optimize, optimization best practices and learn what and learn more about an Amazon AIS, ASIN number is for pricing. We choose what you feel comfortable selling your item at. Personally, I searched for the item on Amazon, looked at the used items that were eligible for free shipping, and priced my item slightly lower than the lowest price available. I wanted to make sure that I sold my games quickly. For the condition, be as honest and descriptive as you can. All you are required to enter for the condition is a selected acceptable good etc however you will be much more likely to sell it if you offer an additional description if your game if your game is missing the manual but has the cover mention it is the book a library book you bought add this too don't list an item at a better condition that it, than it is you won't get away with it if a customer uh, expects I uh, like new book. They won't accept one that tears and highly and highlighting that they will request a refund. If you are if you aren't honest, customers will leave negative reviews, which will make it very hard for you to sell in the future. Lastly, you want to sell for you want lastly you want to make sure you select a, I want Amazon to ship and provide the customer service for my items if they sell. This is essential Then I want to use FBA option. If you made sure to select the checkbox and this is your first time selling on Amazon FBA, Amazon will send you a registration screen. Simply read and accept the terms of service here. How to convert your items to fulfillment by Amazon items. I know what you are thinking. Why do I need to convert my items to FBA items? If I selected them to the fulfillment fulfilled by Amazon, this just gives you the option to use Amazon FBA. You don't have to use FBA for every time you sell. There are some items that can't be shipped through Amazon FBA either. Therefore, you need to go into your account and manually select which items you want to fulfill through Amazon FBA. To do this, Go to the inventory tab in your seller central homepage and click the manage inventory. From here, you'll want to select the actions, drop down to each for each produce and select change to fulfillment to fulfilled by Amazon. Please note, once converted, your listings will be temporarily removed from Amazon.com until the inventory has received has been received at Amazon fulfillment center so you must finish the entire process to list your to list and sell your items through amazon fba once you change the inventory to fulfill by amazon you will be asked about the preferences 
Number one, FBA label service. Two, stickerless com coming lead inventory. That was all for today. Thank you for watching. That was all about FBA. Make sure to like and subscribe.